Today on Built, we're going to be removing rust from old rusty cast iron parts with science. It's pretty gross. First, you need a bucket. A five gallon bucket like you get at a paint store works too, but I'm going to use big parts and so I need a big bucket. Next, we're going to fill it with water. While that's filling up, I'm going to prepare the next step. These are one half inch by one foot long rebar and I just picked them up from the local home improvement store. We're going to put one in each corner, we're going to tie it on with some wire. Next, I need some copper wire. You can buy just plain copper wire. I have a bunch of this stuff left over from when I rewired my house, so I'm going to pull some wire out of it and use it to tie my rods together. All right, so I have my copper wire. Now, the goal is to tie all of these rods together with copper wire without actually letting the copper get in the water because the copper will uh, kind of go green and cause the water to get really nasty and dirty. All right, so this is the setup I'm using. You can see everything's tied in with copper wire. I've got this guide down here to hold my wire in the right spot so it doesn't touch these metal clamps. And it runs over there. So this setup is done. Now we are going to mix our water. All right, the next step of this process is to add washing soda to the mix, not to be confused with baking soda. This is sodium carbonate, I believe. Yeah, and baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. So they are a little bit different. We're going to add a half cup per five gallons, this is about 10 gallons of water, so we'll go a full cup. I'm going to use a stick to stir it up. I know this seems really random, but this is the stick I'm actually going to hang my part off of. I'll show you in a minute. Just give that a good stir, make sure all the blocks, it kind of, it kind of blocks up, clumps up in the water. Just make sure it all gets broken up. The water should look pretty foggy. All right, so this is the part in question. I bought this spindle off of eBay. Uh, my spindle's tie rod holder thing, this piece right here, it broke. So uh, I had to get a new one. I ordered this one and all the bolts in it were like seized up. Yeah, they were all seized up. There's rust all over the thing. It's just not what I was expecting. I was not super happy about it. So I looked up some ways to remove rust, found out about this electrolysis thing, and we're going to try it. I'm going to set the hub in there, control arms are going in there, everything's going in, just because uh, I don't really have the tools I need to remove it, and I got a new one coming anyway. I already bought another one because I got to keep this build moving. So we're going to test this out with all the stuff in there. I don't know if it's going to be dangerous, but we're in a well-ventilated area, so we'll be okay. Um, I got to hang this from this wooden pole. That's how we're going to submerge it in the water. All right, so I got this wire. You can use basically any metal wire as long as it's not copper. Uh, copper will corrode and oxidize really bad in this process. Knocking it out. Is it working? No, I haven't started it yet. Oh, got enough set up there. Yeah. The only problem is that bucket has a hole in it somewhere. Oh, no. I mean, it's okay. Is that the one that's in the garage? Yeah. Pretty nifty little contraption you got there. It will be super nifty if it works. So it's supposed to get the rust off of it? Yeah. So I'll give you put your hand in there, but we'll have to Uh, yeah, your hand falls off. It is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I actually have to. Would you feel a little shocked? A, I don't know. I mean, it's, you're electrifying the, the water, but I don't know. I don't think so because it's grounded to the part. So, like when you get shocked, it's because you ground yourself. To All right, it. well, let's see. It's not, there's no power to it yet. <laughs> 
but yeah, I think I mean I've never done this. I've heard of people doing it. Yeah. And it's supposed to be super effective, and it doesn't like it doesn't take any effort. You just. Yeah. Did you do everything right? I think so. Yeah. I think I did it like over right yeah, actually. Set up. I'm, like kind of proud of myself because okay. normally I just kind of rig stuff together. This is like legitimate. Looking good. Okay, so we've got our part suspended in the solution. Uh, that's water and, and washing soda, super washing soda. And uh, what we're gonna do next is we will add a charge to our posts. Uh, I don't know what the electronical term for that is, but basically the power will go there and then the ground will connect to our wire holding our part. Now, if everything works correctly, uh, then we'll start seeing some bubbles form in the water and the rust will literally start to fall off. I'm really excited about this. If this works, I'm gonna be so stoked. All right, let's do it. So I have a battery charger here. The battery charger is like a, it's like an auto sensing charger. So I don't know if it's actually gonna work. I may have to go get a different one, but I'm gonna try it. Before you plug your battery charger in, go ahead and set up your terminal. So my positive is going to go to the copper wire and my ground will go here to my part. If we get it right, we should get bubbles. Oh, cool. Can you guys see that? That means we did something right. And look, you can see it here too. All right, so the science is working. There are bubbles forming all over this thing. You can see just like smoke almost <laughs> coming up out of the water. And it looks really awesome. I'm super stoked that this is working. It just seems like such a cool thing. So I'm gonna let this sit. What is happening? There's all kinds of stuff like forming and coming up into the water. Anyway, I'm gonna let this sit for about two hours and, uh, and then we will come back and check it and see how our part looks. It's pretty gross. Check it out. So our water has gone basically yellow, brown. And then you can see this is all rust that's floated to the top. Definitely still working. So I'm probably going to give it another hour or so and just see where we're at. So, uh, still working. <laughs> You can't even see inside of the water anymore because of all the rust. It's still bubbling. There's still stuff happening. And it's still getting considerably darker. So uh, this has been about, I don't know, two hours, maybe two and a half hours. I think I'm going to leave it overnight. I don't think there's any danger in it, but even if there is, I'm not going to use this part. So I'm going to leave it overnight and just let it keep working, and I'll check on it in the morning. All right, so it's morning. The part has been soaking for like 18 hours. Check this out. So I checked it last night and it was still kind of like fizzing a little bit. Now it's not fizzing at all and a lot of the rust has settled to the bottom of the bucket. Um, I guess that means that at some point it just stops. I guess whenever the rust gets all the way off, I don't know. If anybody knows more about this in the comments, let me know. But uh, it doesn't seem like there's no more bubbles coming up. It's not fizzing anymore, which makes me think that the rust is completely gone. And I would believe it based on looking at the bottom. I mean, check the bottom of this bucket out. just a layer of rust all the way across the bottom and then obviously whatever this is in the top so I'm gonna pull this thing out um, and I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put it I'm gonna pull it out and rinse it off with some water just get it kind of clean and then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this nasty water <laughs>
overall, I'm super impressed with the electrolysis process, and I really think it's got a lot of merit. We'll use it again. You might notice the car is in a little bit better shape now than it was in the video. That's because it's about to be given away. I'm really, really excited about this. The deadline for the giveaway is this Sunday, so we've got like three days to enter. I need you to enter by Sunday because I'm going to pick the winners in a live video on Sunday. So if you want to win this car, all you have to do is submit a one minute video saying why you want to win it. There's two ways to submit. You can put it on Instagram and hashtag built giveaway and tag me in the video. And you can also email it to me at built dot caleb at gmail dot com either way works it's a minute long video just saying why you want to win this car and that enters you to win the winners will be selected sunday i'll do a video on that and then from there you guys are going to vote on who you want to win the car i've gotten a lot of really cool submissions thank you guys so much for everyone that's submitted so far I know I've already said this, but I'm super excited about the giveaway and about this Sunday. It's going to be awesome. Make sure you tune in this Sunday to find out if you are a finalist for this giveaway. Now See you guys soon. Hey.